Do you guys hear that? Today, we're gonna fix that. Today, we're gonna be doing some plumbing. Gonna replace the uh, return pump, which is a Danner pump, I think it is. It's several years old, so I think it's time to upgrade, sort of, I mean, to go into DC. Uh, decided to go with this uh, j -Bow DC, I think it's the DCP2500. Want to give it a try, it's uh, controllable and should be a lot quieter. So, we'll see. And also, um, need to replace the hoses because they just weren't the right lengths. It's just not working for me. So I'm going to switch to this and also I'll show you guys later. Um, I use metal hose clamps. Now, although they're outside of the uh, hose, not directly in the water, they did start to rust and I had to kind of tape over them because I was afraid that uh, rust was going to um, drop into the sump. So anyway, going to fix that. Uh, fiasco as well. I just wanted to show you guys the current state. So, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but as you can see there's a bit of rust there. That one's really rusty. It's not too bad, but uh, at least it's not falling apart. But I think I need to replace that with plastic hose clamps. And uh, obviously I think I need to adjust the length of this and that as well. It's just not fitting quite right. So, let's go ahead and replace it. All right, it's out. Uh, just a couple quick tips. Um, it's gonna be pretty tight trying to pull it out, so it's good just to, if you don't need to reuse the hose, just go ahead and cut it with an X-Acto knife or something. So, it came off really easily. There's the rusty clamp, as you can see. Also, if you take the heater out of your sump or your tank, make sure it's uh, unplugged. Alright, time to install the new pump. Alright guys, here's what it looks like now with the j pump in there and the new hoses. I am not, still not happy with the uh, drain line here. I think I'm going to have to figure out another way. All the noise Basically, it's coming from the waterfall sort of noise that happens in the drain. So I think we need to do something about that. I uh, really couldn't actually lengthen that hose because it's just too stiff and it's difficult to uh, maneuver it into the, uh, the filter sock holder. Uh, and I was afraid of breaking the bulkhead if I was manhandle the thing so anyway here let me show you what it sounds like now so I have to say that that pump is super quiet um, and actually I'm realizing that the skimmer is also super quiet so that's awesome let me show you the uh, controller pardon the mess I gotta do some cleanup so here's the controller. Right now it's set to here. Let's see, um, sixty percent. So it's probably higher than I want to operate it, but because I really want very low turnover. But I'm gonna play around with that, see how uh, things work, and I do have to do some cleanup with the cabling and figure out where to mount this this guy. But just so wanted to get it going. It took a lot longer than I expected just because of the, the difficulty manhandling these uh, these braided hoses. They're very stiff. I was afraid of breaking things. And also that, uh, I don't know if I'm going to use that plastic clamp because I'm not sure how you would remove it. And it's very difficult to put on. So I um, might leave it like this for now. I'm kind of afraid of leaks, but... I'm not even sure how much that plastic clamp is going to help anyway. So I'll leave it like that for a while, see if, uh, if it holds. But anyway, um, got to do a little bit more cleanup and 
also need to clean the tank because it's full of algae right now. All right, so as you can see, I've got things uh, all cleaned up now and the uh, JBO controller just mounted on or next to this uh, the ink bird using these commando hooks. Probably not the best. I, I do want to do some controller board cleanup because I don't really like all this here. I want it to look a lot better, but that's for a future project. Anyway, uh, so far I am super happy with the uh, with how this turned out. Um, so far no leaks and at least to me it is super quiet. So definitely an upgrade. Um, that's probably long overdue and we'll see. I will uh, keep you guys updated on how it works maybe in a year. A year from now we can uh, do an update and see how this pump is doing. But so far I'm super happy I have it set to basically 40% um, and that's plenty of turnover for me so anyway that's it for now guys um, thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next video until then stay salty <laughs>